Hey, what's up, guys? We are back with the Young Grace Predictor. Today, I'm going to talk about the Grand Prix of Imola. Uh, 2021 predictions the previous video was not like kind of up to the mark because I'm uh, moreover we are getting to know about how the season was and I was extremely shocked after seeing Verstappen on pole position and even Ferrari performing very well in fact in Q2 Leclerc and Sainz taking an orbit of 1-2 and um, Sergio Perez kicked out of um, in Q2 itself, so a lot, and moreover, Alfa Romeo going into Q2, and many mistakes had also taken place. So, being a beginner, I hope if this race will be a huge hit, and let us uh, let us get started. So, this um, as as always, this is the qualifying grid, and then I'll be talking about the driver of the day, DNFs, which is newly added to the list, the podium, the fastest lap, and the winner of the race. So. Uh, let us talk about the last five as always now in the previous video although there had been a lot of mistakes there were a lot of exceptions as well which came up uh, correctly uh, like for example the fastest lap according to me was Lewis Hamilton but it wasn't but instead it was Mercedes who, take, who had taken the fastest lap same for the winner as well the, I thought it was Botas but Hamilton had won so again Mercedes similarly Sonoda was kicked out of Q2 but the positioning was uh, only not correct so let us still just continue now we are, we'll be talking about the last five first and again it will be Haas taking the last row the reason being that Mazepin and Mick Schumacher are new to the grid and we know very well that they, uh, that they play uh, that they are really good players Mazepin uh, had been kicked uh, had been uh, finished last because he spun around uh, at the first turn itself and the checkered flag was uh, unleashed and Schumacher had finished in 18th place so uh, mostly Haas will finish in last because Lincoln Satifi as well is, is a really good player and he knows how to uh, he knows how to take the Williams car because um, a reward had, uh, there was like a reward being given to George Russell when in the final lap uh, when the checkered flag is unleashed uh, for the end of Q1 he finished in 7th place so Latifi um, will finish in 18th place behind the Alfa Romeos. Now because Ocon and uh, Sebastian Vettel ha were out of Q1 after Mazepin had spun out and I think also because Sainz, um, there was a yellow sector in sector 2 when Sainz had an engine problem. So due to that it was um, a big relief for Alfa Romeo to come into Q2. So and, uh, now that uh, I'm assuming that uh, these are uh, these problems won't take place and if they don't then Alfa Romeo will be in the um, last five with Giovinazzi ahead of Kimi Raikkonen. Now coming to the next five which is from 11th to 15th place George Russell will finish in 15th because again he's playing for Williams and bringing that slow car itself with showing every um, all his strength in every single area in turns in the field so but the car the car being slow i feel there are chances of others going faster mm -hmm. so russell will finish in 15th mm -hmm. sunoda had uh, finished in second uh, second in q1 of bahrain and in pre-season testing um three so but but in q2 sunoda have uh, was kicked out after leclerc and Sainz had topped and ricardo finished like in sixth in q2 so sunoda was out so I feel Sonoda will finish in 14th place and Ocon and Vettel did not have really good start to the season both finishing out of uh, out in Q1 itself and and uh, so there are chances of them finish, uh, finishing in Q2 because there are more um, uh, greater drivers in the uh, in the top 10 and uh, looking at the car speed itself it determines how uh, how the players are go how the players are going to perform and we have seen Ocon go faster than Vettel in, in Bahrain and at many times. So Ocon will be in 12th and um, Vettel will be in 13th. Sonoda in 14th. Stroll will be in 11th place because Alonso giving a comeback to Formula 1 with the cha with the car where, where he had won his championship. I know he has a lot to show using, the, uh, using Alpine and therefore he will be in the top 10. Therefore Stroll will be kicked out of Q2. He'll be in 11th place. Moreover, in the uh, in 2020's Emilia Romagna Grand Prix, we had seen that Lance Stroll was kicked, uh, was kicked out uh, of the top 10. He himself finished in 11th. 
so so will finish in 11th place now coming to the top 10 hamilton versipen botas ricardo followed by leclerc perez norris sainz and then gasly and alonso now out of the top 10 alpine and alfa tauri are like a slow a slow car we can say ferrari as well but in q2 we had seen leclerc and sainz top in uh, in the bahrain session so i i feel they uh, they will finish ahead and gasly has more potential and he can uh, finish ahead of alonso um with the speed of the alfa tauri car he finished in fifth place in uh, q3's bahrain and therefore i feel he'll finish ahead of alonso and alonso in 10th gasly in 9th and signs according to the same list la last week um signs are finished in eighth place now we have ricardo and norris as well with the mclaren and they uh, we have seen how they have uh, performed in the pre-season testing along with the practice sessions and the qualifying and norris also has overtaken leclerc and finished fourth place itself in the first race of the season so i feel mclaren will finish ahead of signs so signs will be in um, seventh place now perez did not have a uh, he had a very good start of the season. I mean, from 11th place, he had to go back to the pits and start from last uh, because of a problem and during the formation lap. And so from the last, he finished in 5th place. So I feel Perez will finish in 5th ahead of Norris. And this time, no mistakes will be made because they, uh, they'll, be, uh, they'll be notifying and finding out if, uh, where are Perez's weak points because we have seen. And... He finished in 6th place after all, la last time behind uh, Charles Leclerc. So I think Perez will take 6th, Norris in 7th, Leclerc will take 5th. Now, uh, being at uh, Ferrari's hometown, Leclerc ha uh, uh, can show a lot of potential. He finished in 7th place in uh, the qu qualifying and 5th um, in Mugello, although the circuit is not there this year. So, I think Leclerc will finish in 5th, moreover behind Ricardo, because Ricardo surprisingly finished on the podium in uh, Imola last year. Uh, he is indeed a lucky man, because Verstappen, ha uh, his tyre blew off, and that led to Ricardo fin finishing in 3rd place, Kvyat in 4th. So, I think Leclerc fin uh, will um, get a lap time behind Ricardo, and as always the top 3, but Verstappen will be in the front row. Now, we saw that the RB16B was faster than the W12. In fact, they finished on a uh, pole position in Bahrain. And in fact, they had a very, very big chance of winning the Bahrain Grand Prix itself. But be, uh, having a very good strategy, I, I, was, I was really, really happy for Hamilton to win. Um, bec because um, firstly, according to my predictions, Mercedes were on top. And secondly, um, after six years, Hamilton was winning the season opener. So, and uh, Verstappen will be in second place because uh, last last year, three Italian Grand Prix were hosted and all the three Verstappen had retired. So, I think Verstappen will uh, at least occupy the front row this time and not take pole. Bottas will finish in third and Hamilton will be on pole position. Now, coming to the race day, the winner has to be Lewis Hamilton because um he has a great strategy and i feel um he, uh, he can uh, he's the best in out uh, after seeing the entire uh, um grid even verstappen can show a lot of uh, potential of winning the grand prix as well but if uh, but i feel uh, Verst uh, verstappen has to stay back again uh, because hamilton uh, knows more and not taking who is the best who is the worst hamilton knows the perfect strategy and how to win for mercedes um the car has become a bit more slow but i, I still feel hamilton will win the race the podium is a shock for third place hamilton and verstappen will finish in first and second verstappen will at least aim for the fastest lap because um the last three um italian grand prix were like uh, he, he didn't like it that much uh, and uh, so he'll at least aim for the fastest lap and finish in second place ricardo will finish ahead of valtteri botas now we saw Bo botas uh, last week Le leclerc was ahead of botas in the first few laps itself and after leclerc pitted it was easy for valtteri botas to come and then take third place in the match and even take the fastest lap now mclaren um uh, Daniel Ricciardo, he's coming newly to the team. Lando Norris cannot take because um, he knows how uh, how the uh, how he's supposed to play with the car, but he's like 
again like a mediocre kind of player i don't know the specific word but i feel ricardo can uh, show much more um, better overtakes than valtteri bottas better um, moves undercuts can uh, also make a big difference so ricardo on the podium the dns at least three dns will be in the match now last year in imola there were five dns uh, one for uh, I think Esteban Ocon engine problem. George Russell a crash here in the safety car. Verstappen um, a tire blowout. A ghastly terminal problem. And one more driver who had retired. So at least uh, so I feel that uh, they know what the uh, what the mistakes was and they will at least uh, they prevent themselves from not making them again. And at least three DNFs will be made in the match. Now the driver of the day is Yuki Tsunoda. Because um, his uh, knowing that he's going to take the AlphaTauri seat after he had been informed that he was taking it the next uh, uh, this year, his first ever training. I mean, the his first session with the AlphaTauri car itself was in Imola, and if if he starts in 14th place, he ha- he can take more overtake because he finished in 13th last week and finished in ninth in the race. So I think Sonoda will um, will be the driver of the day. A lot of exceptions could also come right, like for example, Botas winning the race or anything like that. But these are my predictions. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure you click that subscribe button and also hit the notification bell for more new videos. Next, we'll talk about the Portugal uh, Grand Prix. But until then, next time.